Now, what I want to talk to you about here is really what Jesus did for a man who had been sick for 38 years. And in this situation, we find someone who had actually had a very long-standing problem. It was something that had happened in his life for about four decades. Just imagine that for a moment. For almost 40 years, 38 years, he had been sick with this ailment. He had lived his life in survival mode, okay? And perhaps other than simply not having a life, there's no worse way to live than just barely surviving every day, just barely making it. He was at the expense of, his life was at the expense of those that would carry him here, take care of him here. He looked for opportunities to get into the water so he could be healed. But it seemed like that every time he was heading toward the water, somebody else would get in front of him. So he never seemed to have any of the breaks in life. So he's been sick for 40 years, almost 38 years. And it seems like everybody else gets the blessing that he wants. There's no worse place perhaps in life than, than to feel like you're stuck in a situation that is never going to change, right? That there's something there that's like, this is never going to change. And that's why when Jesus comes to the man, what was the first question that Jesus asked the man? Do you want to get well? Okay. Why did Jesus ask him, do you want to get well? Most likely, Jesus asked him that question because the man was hopeless. There was, there was a part of his life that said, you know what, I don't think anything good is ever going to happen to me. He had lost all hope, all possibility that his life could ever be any different. But there in that moment, Jesus was calling him, very important, he was calling him out of his victimhood into victory, okay? Amen. See, I will tell you that when you get stuck in victimhood... Victimhood is, this has all happened to me. This is never going to change. Nothing's going to ever be any different. I'm just the victim of things that have happened in my life. And Jesus always calls us out of victimhood because with Jesus, you don't have to be a victim. With Jesus, you can be a victor. Amen? Okay? Amen. He's the one that lifts you out. He's the one that pulls you up out of things that even if lasted for long times in your life. And so there in that moment, Jesus inspired this man with a sense of hope about his future. He he said, you know what? You don't have to live in this any longer. Do you want to get well? And of course, the first response of the man was, I can't. I mean, that many times in life, that's our response. When a new opportunity comes our way, our response is not, I can. Our response is, I can't. But here's the good news. What we can't do, he can do. Okay. What he can't do, what we can't do, Jesus can do. So it really wasn't about what this man could do. It was about what Jesus could do for him. And there in that moment, there was this moment of faith where Jesus said, pick up your mat and walk. In other words, now you've been living in this condition for almost 40 years. Now I'm charging you. I'm commanding you. I'm instructing you. I'm inspiring you with a word of hope. Rise up from where you are. Don't let your failures of the past. Don't let what has been there in the past define your future. When Jesus steps in, he says, do you want to rise out of being a victim? Are you ready for victory? And I will tell you that when you, when you add your faith to the call of Jesus and you begin to pick up your mat and walk, listen, the man had to do something. He had to reach down and say, I'm getting my mat and I'm not going to stay in this condition any longer. So I'm going to charge all of you today, whatever your mat is, whatever you've been laying on, whatever has been the thing that has kept you down and left you in a place of sort of paralyzed for all these years. And lots of things can paralyze you in life. But today I'm going to charge and encourage you as Jesus did over 2,000 years ago. Today Jesus comes to you and says, pick up your mat and walk. Amen? Amen. Pick up your mat and get beyond whatever has held you down and held you back because your day, this day, is a day of a new beginning for you. This day is a day that now no longer will your past define you. No, you're moving toward an incredible destiny and an incredible future for your life.